welcome back to our channel if you are new to our channel my name is Dim and this is my husband Spence, Spence. okay so today's video we're talking about are we more children hmm? more children more children or not <laughs> some people asking what you know why we have only one child so are you gonna the do you want more children so, so that's what we're gonna talk about now <laughs> okay 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 let's start let's get started from the beginning okay okay boss i came to uk um on january 1 2010 then we got married on april 1 2010 and i got pregnant straight away <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. Straight away? Yeah, straight away. You mean straight away after we're married? Uh, straight, yeah, after we're married. After we're That's married, yeah. That's what I said. See? <laughs> Just get that straight. Okay. After we got married, yeah. So. And then we got pregnant. Yeah, I got pregnant. Yep. Okay? Yep. So. Okay, so. That, uh, my. Uh, my pregnancy journey. It has not been easy. Some, you know, some women don't have problem about pregnancy or giving birth. But I'm opposite <laughs> of that. So that wasn't so bad. Huh? That wasn't so bad. Well, well, when I was pregnant, um, ooh, I'm always vomit. <laughs> vomit, vomit, uh, whatever I eat, I just vomit. And the weird thing is, I don't really like rice. Is that when you gave it <laughs> rice? I think I forgot. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, wow. I don't like rice at all. <laughs> but only one thing, food that I didn't vomit, <laughs> is banana. banana. And then I don't like banana. Now I remember my husband. You know. When he's at work on the way home, he said, "Oh, have you still got um, banana? <laughs> because that's yeah, that keeps me alive <laughs> for months." <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I kind of believe that I don't like rice. Wow, and I'm Filipino, you know. Mm. Filipino likes rice. Well, 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 that is our rice is life. I I, I remember talking to uh, Dem's brother, and uh, he said to me, he said. Uh, Filipino must have rice, must have rice. Three he times said, a day. He said, do you know what happens? If Filipino does not eat rice, they will die. He said? <laughs> That's what he said. They will die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's not, it's not been easy for me. Well, but after six months and then I gain, oh, during my pregnancy, I lose a lot of weight. I'm skinny. You really can't tell you're pregnant till you're five months. Yeah, and then you then yeah, five months or six months, and I gain weight. And now, I and now you have a big eat. bump. Yeah. Big bump. Didn't gain weight, just had a big bump. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Enormous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah. So yes, yeah, not been easy, but well, it's there now. So. The reward was good. Oh yeah, it, it's worth it. You know what? Um, yeah, I'm not good at giving birth. At all. <laughs> I remember this girl that I know. She said that, ah, oh, so pregnancy, no problem at all. I have no problem giving birth. Even tomorrow, I will giving birth. She said, I'm just like a duck. <laughs> she said, my goodness me. I remember that. <laughs> That's good. But uh so yeah, then I giving birth to Jack. When is that um December <laughs> December twenty eighth. So yeah, it's a bit mm, not good experience. No. Me, yeah? Because when oh okay, the, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. Okay. That night on December twenty seven, that's right. Yes. Yeah, yes. we're in bed. 
uh, that uh, that was 11 p.m. and I was in bed and I'm playing Nintendo and then I get up and then went to go to the bathroom and then I suddenly <laughs> suddenly um, what is running down on my legs? I said, what's going on? And I she told said, Spence, she said, I said, I can't stop peeing. I can't stop peeing. <laughs> I cannot stop peeing. Yeah, I said, my husband said, oh, stay there. <laughs> stay there. And then I'm just gonna take a shower. Yeah, he's so calm. So yeah, I said, I was thinking that time when I was sat on the toilet. <laughs> and then I said, wow, this, this is, they called it, giving birth wow this is easy pie my goodness me even every day i'm giving birth no problem i just what is saying he said that it's it's pain it's hurt like that and i feel i cannot feel anything it's just water you know i just no problem at all what what they're talking about you know and then we yeah we jump in the car <laughs> went to the hospital um yeah when we arrived there then it's kicking the construction and yeah contractions yeah construction so that's it oh not good <laughs> not good not good and then yeah and then we went to this room and they give me this uh silly nurse is it this is this a nurse isn't it? Midwife. Midwife. oh midwife oh i don't like her and I think she didn't like me, hmm. because I, yeah, when I was in the bathroom, she said to me that, you know why you didn't bring the book with or you? Notes, the the notes, what notes. is that? The the Just records got something. Notes, notes. So taking notes through uh, through your pregnancy. That's where I keep my record when I have appointment. That's it, and then she. She said to me, why you didn't bring that with you? You know, we can send you back home. I said, oh my goodness, I'm in pain, woman. <laughs> That's not nice. So this, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this, so this okay. midwife is going on and on and on. I can't work without a book. I can't work without a book. I don't know why I thought she was a midwife anyway. I had to go back, 10 miles back and 10 miles back. And I bring... Uh, the silly records back just a little notebook about blood pressure and something that says nothing at all and then I he said you can't come in they won't let me in and then uh, I rang up I had to rang them and she came out and then she said uh, that, that, that another nurse said you can't come in here but I said my wife's in there he said we can't come in here so I wrote them come out and then she put them out said oh, unlock the door yeah locked us outside and we're there, and you're, you're, you're really in agony, in agony. Oh, yes. And so I, I, I rang the emergency button and said, my wife's giving birth, you, you locked us outside. Mm. So finally they let, let, let us inside there. Yeah, let us inside. And then the midwife seen the book, looked at the book, and put it in the bin. So that was a waste of an uh, hour and a half. What was the bottom one more? Because you were locked outside with me in pain. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, so yeah, I'm in pain. Then they always keep this saying that, oh, the baby is not, they look at me, oh, and then I don't like the women looking at me. <laughs> they said, oh, so the baby is not uh, coming out yet, so don't push. Mm. No, how can you do that? You, uh, your body is, you know, want mm. to push. How can you stop it? It's, you cannot stop it, impossible. So I push, I push, I push, that nobody's there. <laughs> and then they give me this thing, what you call that? The, 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 did you have gas and air? I have gas and air, it's not working okay. for me. So spend. she said, oh, we'll give you some, uh, some diamorphine, heroin. Wow. And uh, she said, okay, I said, uh, well, can you give a small dose because she's never had medication before so we don't know how she's going to react any sort of medication never taken painkillers mm. she said oh don't be stupid everybody takes painkillers all this she 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 knows our life 
Okay. Better than we do. Okay. So anyway, she agreed. She gave it half a dose of the diamorphine, and then uh, what was that like then? Having heroin? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness me! I cannot open my eyes because I'm DC. The ceiling is turning, <laughs> and oh, I pass out, and I'm back. Pass out, <laughs> back. So, pass out. So why? It's why? Just... Why do you think these people want to take heroin all the time? I don't know. It must be crazy. To feel like that yeah and then i'm waiting for oh my goodness me hours and hours and hours and i said oh the baby is not coming out like that oh my god i'm so so tired i'm exhausted and i'm saying i remember i'm saying come on get get it on you know i said that well i said i cannot well i'm in pain and i don't care anymore because I'm suffering, Miss mm. Pence, and I'm too tired, exhausted, and I said that if you want to cut me up, just cut me up. No, I don't care anymore. I want to end this. That's mm. it. I don't really care. I said I'm too, too tired. Then, 7 a.m., there's a midwife came, and then she looked at me, and then she, she said, oh... I think the baby is ready now. So, but I'm pushing, pushing hours ago. So I'm so exhausted. So push again, push and push and push. My husband said, okay, just just give it it. <laughs> and I pushed it, it's because nothing's the, happened. The, 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 the midwife says then, well, if you don't push, we'll have to do something about it. Do all sorts of things. So I was gonna say, we better push now. Better push, push, push. Cause I'm starting to worry, yeah. you know, cause the baby's been uh, there for a long time yeah and then push and i said well it's not, nothing's happened here huh? yeah so then um the small indian girl came to the now, doctor th then i i think that she realized this is a problem it but raises a problem so then she called for a a a, a doctor dr come young indian girl really really mm -hmm. really excellent first time we had any medical assistance really and uh she panicked straight away. She was panicking. She could see. She locked this the is a monitor. Yeah, yeah. She monitor, said there's a big, the big, heart. big problem. We'll have to do something about this now, immediately. Oh, then that's it. Chaos. Then, and I'm saying, chaos, what's chaos. what's going on? There's uh, lots of people around me. I must go in, and then they handed me this piece of paper and sign it, sign it, the green paper, sign it. I said, what's going on? So you cannot read this. I'm, I'm tired. So I just sign it. What is that all about? It's to say that if you die, it's not their fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then they, we basically, they rush me. So, so basically, saying we can do anything to you we want. We're in charge now with your body. You're no longer in charge of your body. You signed your rights away. That's what they. That's what that was for. Then they rush me to the emergency room, and then my husband is not there. So I just saying, where is my husband? You know, where is my husband? And then there's an um, Indian uh, lady, such a nice lady, Spence. She's so calm. She calmed me down. And she said, she's talking to me. I said, it's okay, it's okay. We will get your husband. She said, why didn't you give me this one in the first place to mm. look after me? You know? Mm. She's such a nice uh, lady. So they go, and then you, and then they let you in. Let me in finally. Yeah, <laughs> and then I remember my husband said to me when I when on my well the doctor doing the operation, then cesarean <laughs> cesarean section. So my husband is just there, um, watching me just like a baby, and she he is crying. I never I've never seen my husband cry like that, you know, because he's a tough guy. He, he mm. said, What's wrong with you? You know. Well, I'll, I'll probably say why because I came in the room finally because I'm waiting outside wondering what's going on or what's going on because it's such a long time and they, I dressed up in a gown and everything so just, and they just left me there outside so finally let me go and I come in the room and the, and the, and the floor is covered in blood Yeah, I'm panicking, I thought what, what, oh my goodness me, what have they done, what have, what have I done, what have I done to this this beautiful young girl, my goodness me, I'm so panicking and then them said to me, said, 
Honey, I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. What they've done, they gave her a injection in yeah, the back. Yeah, I've done that. I didn't know. Well, but she didn't. She didn't know what it was doing. She didn't yeah, know I'm that, just, that she's. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was uh, taking the pain away, just uh, not not numbing the bottom half of her body. Mm. Because to do the cesarean. Yeah. During that operation, Spence said to me, "Don't sleep. Don't sleep. You can sleep when the when it's done. Okay. Don't sleep. Don't sleep." He's, he always said that to me. I have. I think they put me a what is that oxygen? Oxygen, or yeah, sure. Yeah, so I'm in a bad shape and jack. So we had lots of people around us. Yeah, it's a tiny yeah. room. I don't know. Yeah, panicking, running Panic. everywhere. Yeah, I'm just oh my goodness me. So Jack, this came out. It's got to check out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, everything's fine then. Oh, and then. The next morning, oh, I'm so tired, and then at that night, this I, midwife or nurse came and asked me if you want a milk bottle, you know, mm. what, what you call that? A bottle of milk for, for the baby. Yeah, for the baby. Okay. And I said no. Uh, I said no, because we have, you know, did so. <laughs> yeah, you have your, yeah, your, I, milk, yeah. your milk, your milk. The, a real milk. I yeah. breastfed Jack for two and a half years. Yeah. yeah. Jack's never had a processed food, made baby food. No, we yeah. just I, what I do um, get um, every day. I mash the potato and carrots. That's yeah, it. That this is garden. out of our garden. That is Jack's food. Never had a um, processed yeah. food. Yeah. That's how I do. Yeah. Yeah. So then. The next morning, I cannot feel anything. My, my body, uh, the half of my body spins, mm -hmm. and I said to you, "What? It's a man. I cannot move my feet." <laughs> you know, and then wow, well, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. And then, okay, the next day, my breakfast time, my hat is no. Okay, we'll say this. In the UK, in the UK hospital, you cannot, your husband or your family, they cannot stay you for, you know, um, what is that, for all day. They have a vis visitor time, money, yeah? even yes. your husband, they cannot stay with you 24 hours. No, in the Philippines, we can, mm -hmm. you know that, we can sleep in the same bed. Yeah, but here in the UK, no. So, yeah, and then that morning, breakfast. We open this curtain. We just have a um, curtain, um, yeah, Partition, both sides, yeah. you like that. And then this the woman, old lady, ask this uh, woman, you want a cup of soup? What do you want for your breakfast? Like that. And then yeah, she served them um, cup of soup like that. And I ask her, can I have a you know a cup of soup, please? And then she said, huh, no. Nah, I'm going to help yourself. Ah, oh, my goodness me! And you know what? That's why I'm, and they are looking at me and what's, what's the like woman. Six, six, six ladies there who've given birth with you in the ward. You with yeah, six. Yeah, yeah, more than I think, no, no. So yeah. I said they're looking at me. Oh my goodness me! I'm so shy. <laughs> so for some reason, this uh, this nurse or whatever she was, she doesn't want to help you. No. So why did I run Spence? You should say what happened after you went for a glass of water, didn't you want to get a glass of water? I thought you went to try to get a glass of water and you almost dropped Jack. Oh, that one I... The, the nurse won't help us, so she had to go herself and you carried Jack and you almost dropped him. I dropped Jack in bed. Oh, you dropped him on the bed. Yeah. Right. So, so, so you rang me. Yeah, that morning and I at said... At 6 a.m. I remember getting a phone call for at 6 a.m. Yeah, I said that I told you about... She the... said, can you come and get me a glass of water, please? Cup of soup. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't have a breakfast, so I said that, can you come? Because this woman don't want to give me... This lady don't want to give me breakfast. Uh, mm. And then my husband is pissed off. You know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said that, come on, let's go. Get, so, get so, 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 I rushed to the hospital. I got my wife a drink of water. I remember doing that, I got a drink of water. I said, you best uh, pack everything up now. Because yeah. we're going on. Because I thought, well, at least I can look after it home. Because there's no one there willing to look after you. For some reason, no idea why. Uh, 
whether he had a problem with uh, little brown girls, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, so I said, right, get your things together. And then this uh, midwife comes over. He said, what are you doing? What are you doing? I said, I'm taking my wife home. He said, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, I'm taking my wife home because she's not looking after you. So I can look after her at home. I know I can look after her at home. He said, you can't, you can't take her home. You can't take her home. I said, I can do Watch. Watch. And I will take her home. He said, you can't take her home until the baby's seen the doctor. I said, my advice to you, I said, get a doctor here now because we're going. And we'll be gone in about five minutes. Yeah. So she ran off, she ran off, got a, and a doctor came off, just like that, a doctor came like that and said, baby's fine, so we went. That was it, and I looked after your home then. Yeah. And uh, I looked after you, because for whatever reason, they were unwilling to. So the experience in our hospital was atrocious. Atrocious. Mm. For what reason? I have no idea what reason, and, uh, but... It's obviously it's better off me looking after you because I know I can look after you and the baby. So that's what we did. No problem at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So not a good experience. So no, that, not a good experience at yeah, all. Yeah. And even, you know, you have a um, wife before you've been there, but it's not the same as you've been <laughs> through with me. Because she is just good at giving birth, is she? Yeah, so easy. So easy. My my husband, remember, you you just went for a tea and come back, baby. Baby, I went, I went, <laughs> I, I went to, for a break, came back. Oh, I have a daughter. Yes, yeah, just so, no, she's just like that, just like that. Just, some well, it's done, woman done, missed it. Yeah, some woman just mm. no problem, but nah, yeah. geez, I'm not good at that. So that that was that was we should go on while we're talking about this. So that was the reason why it put you off uh, becoming pregnant again. Okay, yeah, that's it. And Jack don't want any more siblings. Mm. But first, before when Jack's a baby, because I said if we're gonna have a baby. He, yeah, and yeah, you said yeah, you, you asked me that if you yeah. want a baby, we're gonna do it straight away. Yeah, not straight away, <laughs> but the next year or whatever. <laughs> And I said, well, I said, well, it's not, I'm not. You're scared. I'm scared and I'm tired. I'm yeah. not recovering. But yeah. I, I said, if we're going to have a baby, we should have them early because I'm getting older that time. So, yeah, yeah. I don't so, want... I'm scared and tired. Um, yeah, I don't want to be in this situation again. Mm. That's not nice. Um, yes, yeah, so... So, I, and then later when Jack can, can talk and communicate, uh, then would ask him, would you want a baby sister, do you want a baby sister? And he always said, no, 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 no. Did you have want a baby brother? Do you want a baby sister? No, absolutely no. no. Hate ideas. So then that's so all. We didn't, basically, for that reason. Yes, yeah, so the question is, do we want more children? The answer is no. Because I, that, Really, when you said to me that if you know if we're having a um, daughter and then whatever happened, you cannot protect her because you're old. <laughs> well, I don't want, yeah, I don't you're want, old. When, when, when I'm too old, it's okay in my 50s, but in my 60s, it's not, uh, it's a bit, a little bit scary. Yeah, mm. we don't really care what people think, what they say, mm. but this one, I'm your side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, we're not. Yeah, we're not having. Well, you know what? <laughs> but if I know that this is gonna be the um, baby girl, I don't know. Also. You know. Yeah. But we don't know. But we don't know. We do, but you have to go through six more sons before you get a daughter. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If we it's guarantee, not... guarantee that it was a girl, then we both may think about it. But you can't. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's okay because yeah, Jack's, Jack, but Jack's got Jack's got uh, three sisters and a brother. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, yeah. I'm. Yeah, I'm scared to do that again. Um, I was lucky that time I because think so. I, because of and her. Jack. And Jack. And Jack. Also. Yeah. And Jack We're also. so lucky and. We don't know if this second time around, and I'm not that so lucky. That's scary. Mm, sure. 
Yeah. So yeah. that's why. Scary for me also. <laughs> One of the worst experiences of my life, without a doubt. So, so really. Wow, I'm so uh, scared and I'm... Would you say? Yeah, you said to me there's lots of blood on the floor. So that's I can't believe it. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I've never been in a situation like that. Because I don't know two times I've ever been in a hospital. Giving birth? It's, 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 it's my previous wife giving birth. I've never been. I've never had any operations. I've never been sick. I've never been ill in my life. I don't know. I hate hospitals. i visited a few people. I've visited my mother, my father there. Hated it. Hated hospitals. Really, really... Detest hospitals. Scary place to be. A lot of people uh, go to hospitals and never come back. I don't want to go to a hospital. Don't particularly want to go to a doctor's and I absolutely don't want to go to a hospital. I would rather go to a battlefield than a hospital. Well, it's different, you know. If about accident or like that, I think they are God for me because they saved my life, you know. Sure, if I have an accident, they're really, really, really good at uh, putting you together yeah. if you have an accident. And you know, After that, I'm not interested in, in doctors. Yeah, maybe. I hope that I don't scare, we don't scare you guys, <laughs> you know. Yeah, just it's your, prepared it, that... Just our experience. This and, is and just most our people words. there and have a wonderful experience. Mm. But it just happened to me, happened to us. It was, um, we were at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. I'm sure they're fantastic. People. Uh, people who work yeah. in hospitals, but the two people that we came across, there was one, I remember the midwife when, there was different midwives, when you actually, they get a cesarean and she'd come out, she was absolutely oh, Beth. amazing, yeah. Beth, she was amazing, yeah. she was so She's support, just, so excellent, mm, so caring, the other doctor, the, 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 the nurse, all she kept saying was, you want some paracetamol, you want some paracetamol, and you said, I don't want any paracetamol, said, you must have some paracetamol, we actually called her the paracetamol midwife. Because I should, should have some paracetamol. Why, if you don't want any, why do you have to take paracetamol? Mm, I, I remember when, when, when we had, they gave us packs and packets of drugs to take home. And I think you took six or something, we threw all the packets away in the end. Packets of drugs, he's so desperate to give you drugs. Yeah, so, mm. there you go. That's not a good uh, experience. Awful experience. Yeah. Awful experience, yeah. So that's yeah. why, that's it. Then, then we talk about this now and we decided to not having more children and We're i said happy. to my husband well i'm gonna go my operation because we don't i don't want well we don't have any more children and he said to me well i don't want to take that away from you no 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 you no. said to me mm, over the, for 10 years for nine years now we managed to not become pregnant and i think uh, it's so easy not to become pregnant if you don't want to so yeah that's it yeah, yeah. if yeah it would be nice if I have a daughter, really, but I don't want to experience that again. It's not really, yeah. nah, no. Mm, scary. It's scary. Yes, yeah, so that's basically why we only have one child together. Hmm? Are you happy being on your own, Jack, with Spencer Mama? Yeah, thumbs up, he says, nodding his head, yeah, he's happy. <laughs> You happy? Yeah, yeah. You don't want a baby sister? Mm -hmm. No, no. Baby brother? No, 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 no. Just those three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. So that's why we're happy in this little small family. Really happy. Yeah. Mm, I know. That's it then. What? Anything else to say, Mum? I think that's all, honey. So, okay. yeah. Okay guys, <laughs> that's all for us today. So see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.